Hey guys, this is Hufflepuff Down Under and welcome back to my channel. Now, I am very excited about today because we're going to be unboxing a box that I haven't done before, which is very, very exciting if I do say so myself. Uh, this box has grown in hype so much over the past three. And when I say over the past three, it's only had three boxes. That's right, you probably have guessed it, it's the Azka box, because it's also in the title. But yes, without further ado, I cannot wait. I received this a few days ago. It's actually got much better uh, shipping-wise than uh, Geek Gear. Obviously, it's a more expensive shipping because it's a smaller company, but it's been here, it's gotten here so fast, so fast. Um, honestly, I think people started receiving this late last week and I've gotten mine two days ago. So, very, very excited. Without further ado, let's just Akio Aska box. All right, oh, I'm just gonna put my wand down um, and here we go. So here it came. Um, now it's a little bit battered, but it did have a very rough trip to Australia and it's still all taped together. It came in one of those uh, plastic cover bags, which is what was inside. Um, and yeah, they've now gotten their logo on the boxes and it's just a plain white box, which, you know, it saves money so that we can, oh, I can't get this open. So obviously it's got a plain white box, uh, which, you know, I don't mind because the less money they spend on packaging, the more money they can spend on putting things inside. Now I've just gotten some scissors because it looks like it's quite strong tape and I can't break it with my nails. So let's just cut it up. All right. And now let's hope it feels so full. Honestly, when I picked it up, I thought it was geekier and I was like, wow, this one's really full, but it was the Aska box. All right, let's have a bit of a look-see and I hope that nothing falls out because it is chock a blocks full. Can you see? What can you see? All right, ooh, ooh, okay, okay. All right, so have you seen this wizard print? Okay, so that is the Chi Chi and we won't be looking at this until we are done with it. So let me just put that over there and we'll come back to it once we're done. And look at this, it is full to the brim. I can see lots of lots and lots and lots of different things but I've gotta go with the thing that's on top. Um, and it's the first paper replica because, wow, look, one, two, three, four, five, six, at least six more items and two of them are paper replicas and I just gotta open this one first. And this one looks like a bit of a letter. And let's see what it says. You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. Okay, so this one says, permission to visit Hogsmeade. And it's got my name on it. It's got my full name on it. I can't believe this. And it says, this document serves to state the aforementioned third year student of Hogwarts School Witchcraft and Wizardry is permitted to visit the village of Hogsmeade at such a time that the school arranges and with the signature of the undersigned parent or guardian. It's so thoughtful and it honestly, it looks like it's ready to go for me and we're ready to go to Hogsmeade. Are you kidding me, you guys? Uh, first item and I'm already thrilled and you know, over the moon about it. I love this, I love this, I love this. You will damn straight know that I am going to be printing my name, a signature, or faking whoever my parents going to be, um, and it, keeping this in my own personal collection. This is so good. It has me giddy like a young child. All right, oh, what next? This one, because it's smaller. All right, so this one, what is this? I was actually watching The Prisoner of Azkaban recently because of the new re-release of the Bloomsbury books. And this makes me laugh. It's Neville's list of the common room passwords. So it's got Monday for Halloween, uh, Scurvy Cur, Tuesday, Hazal, Wednesday, Hill Night King, Thursday, Hufty Pufty. It shows everyone that they change. When lost, please return the list to Neville. And then it also says, I hate Sir Cardigan because he kept changing it every day. This is, again, such a lovely touch. And I love that they've printed these on paper that looks like parchment. Uh, I just think it's so lovely. Oh, everything is so thoughtful, which is why I was always really excited to open these. Now, 
This one has got a beautiful purple wax seal. And I think that I'm going to love it, whatever it is. So I might keep this for later. So I'm just gonna tuck that back in and ready to go. All right, let's get rid of some of this packaging worms. All right, all right, all right. And you know what? I need this mug. All right, let's just, it's got something in the mug as well. Oh, we're gonna be opening this one first because it looks like we're gonna do that. And it's, oh my God. Oh, I think this smells better than the chocolate tree, tea frog. Oh my God, it slides. Oh Lord, yes. So it's actually taped shut, which is why I can't get it open right now. It's not because I'm weak. Um, but it's Lupin's chocolate tea. And it is a slide, and the thing that I'm most excited about, other than the fact that it smells amazing and it's gonna be a great chocolate tea, is the fact that it's a sliding container. So that means that you can slide it open, pour a little bit out and slide it back. There's no weird clips. You're not too sure if you've locked it out or, or you've closed it correctly. Uh, this is just, I love this packaging style. Let's see if I can open it. Yes, I can. And oh my Lord, it's got little tiny chocolate chips and I am just going to, I love this so much. Oh, so it says mix ingredient with hot water or steep in warm milk if you wish to experience this tea as a hot chocolate. Uh, it also says Madame Pomfrey approved and drink this, it'll help. I love this, I love this so much. It smells so good. And again, I love uh, little packages that I can hold my tea in because that means that I can bring it with me when I go to work or when I travel, uh, which I'll be doing a bit of traveling soon, which is very, very exciting. All right, now let's get rid of this uh, bubble wrap because I've got to see what's on this mug. Oh, you're kidding me. Look at this. My dear, you've got the grim. Oh, and it's got a print of it on the other side. This is lovely. It might not be a replica, but this is just going to be one of my new favorite mugs. And you know what? I'm going to bring this to Japan with me because this is huge and it's such a lovely shape to hold. It's just huge. Just imagine having the biggest cup of cocoa or tea or coffee in here. Honestly, I might need to read um, if it's like dishwasher safe and all that, but it looks stunning. I just think it's beautiful and I'll have close-ups in it uh, later on. And this one I'll have to be really careful about where I put. All right, so we've put that away and it's safe. Um, and it's still full. It's still so full. You're honestly getting every single dollar that it's worth in here. I love this so much. Oh, there's a potion bottle, a little potion bottle, and I need that right now, right now. All right. It's a little aconite thing, which I think is um, lavender leaves. Yeah, so you need aconite to uh, make Wolfsbane's potion. Uh, and it's just beautiful, and it's just, Okay, it's glued shut, so I can't get it opened, but I just think it looks so lovely. I might age it a little bit just because I like aged labels, but I love how it's got the number on it and it's got a picture of it. And it's just, I love little potions. So I'm just really excited. I feel like a little kid on Christmas. This is how this box makes me feel right now, okay? Um, and oh, there's so much more and I don't know where to start, except I just saw something that I really, really like. So we're going to go with that one next. So this is um, from Alchemy of the Skin. They actually do their own boxes now as well, which is very, very exciting. Um, and it's two lovely ladies. Uh, one of them is Stephanie as well, which I absolutely adore her. She's so lovely. Um, but it's an Espresso Petrodum Whipped Soap. And I don't care that if I'm going to ruin it. I need to get this out of the packaging and I need to smell this. I love coffee. Hot take, I like coffee way more than tea. I love tea, but you gotta understand how much I love coffee. I'm Italian, so it's kind of expected of me. So it's got the little ingredients list on the back, but I need to get this whipped soap open because I imagine it to be smelling. Oh yes. It's like an espresso shot, just took a dip in soap. This is what it smells like. And I love this. I love alchemy for the skin and everything they do. Everything they do is cruelty free, I'm not sure if it's vegan, 
think I heard somewhere along the lines that they might be. I would double check with them. But it's all supposed to be as well for super sweet, a sensitive skin. Uh, so really, you're getting really quality products when you're getting Alchemy of the Skin stuff, which is amazing that they've included, included them in here. And oh, I need this as well. Oh God, oh God, I know what this is. I think I saw a spoiler for this. It's the only one that I've spoiled myself for. Look at this. It's a little Flitwick's Butterbeer. It's also, it's also a candle. If I can get this open, my God. Ah, oh, here we go. It's also a candle. It's... First of all, it smells amazing. Oh, yum. It's like caramel sweet vanilla infusion and it's just absolutely amazing. It's full of coconut apricot wax. Wow. And she just pipes it all through as well. So it's these little shot glass glasses um, with a lid, a mason jar, I think it's called. Um, and it just, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, if you're in the Potter community, you have heard of Flipbox Candles. They are, uh, she actually, she is the genius behind the Miss Petunia's uh, pudding uh, cake one as well. And just such a lovely touch. And I have to get this fabric item out. There's actually two fabric items in here. Ooh, uh, but I don't know what this is. Is this, is this a pillowcase? Let's see if I can open this and show you guys. What does it say? This is a huge pillowcase, oh gosh. For in dreams we enter the world that is entirely our own and then swim in the deepest ocean and glide over the highest cloud. I'm actually not sure where that comes from. I have, I'm not usually at a loss with this kind of things. Um, so once we get to the cheat sheet, I might come back to this and see if I change my mind about it. Because at the moment, this one's missed the mark a little bit for me, but it's only because all of the other items have, have been absolutely amazing in this box. But I need to get this open because I need to know what this is. You know what? It looks kind of like a parchment roll, but I think it's a map, maybe? Oh God, I don't know how to get it out. Maybe if I just... Let's get this open. Uh, first of all, this paper feels so luxurious. It feels kind of um, suede, velvety kind of feel. I know those are two completely different uh, feelings, but that's what it feels like. And it's a Hogsmeade map. And it's just so lovely. It's got all of the different uh, shops that are available, um, starting from Cedric's ca um, Cauldrons. And I mean, they're all listed in alphabetical order. And it's even got Hagrid's hut on the map, which means it's, it shows how, like, how truly close it should be uh, to Hogsmeade to Hogwarts and it's got um, the Great Lake in the corner as well and it's just lovely it kind of immerses you in in the world of Harry Potter and it shows just all of the good little things that are in there and I just think it's such a lovely touch and it really gives you a good idea of why everything's like so I think this is really really lovely um, I'm not gonna put it back oh yeah, I'll put it back. I just saw something that I was not expecting in this box. Now, as you can tell, most of this box is, has a very uh, rustic feel, handmade feel to it, and I was not expecting something from Fable and Black. This note, uh, notepad, actually, is something that I've been dying to get from the Fable and Black website for, honestly, since they launched it. I thought it was beautiful, and uh, my friend Kitsia, posted one um, and I just really wanted one as well and it's basically um, kind of like a an ode uh, to Hermione's time turner and so much to do so little time obviously because she needs more hours in the day to complete all of her studies uh, and it's such a lovely uh, pad and such a lovely design and I'm thrilled that we got this in here thrilled I cannot believe this I love it so much 
Amazing. Amazing. All right, so let's get this little Marauders map thing going because I need to know what this is. Oh, I think this is actually designed by the Azkabox themselves. It's a book sleeve. So you can pr protect your books when you go traveling and you just pop it in here and they won't get ruined or creased or damaged. And it's Marauders map theme and it just, it feels so soft on the inside. It's this kind of felt fabric to really protect, obviously, uh, the book. And it's got the Marauders map print, but then on the other side, it says, Mrs. Moni Wormtail Padfoot and Prongs offer their compliments to Persephone's snake and request that he keeps his abnormally large nose out of other people's business, which is what happens when he tries and acts as the piece of parchment when he busts Harry with it. Because he's like, oh, what's on this? Nothing, sir, nothing. I love it. Oh, uh, okay, so we're left with only a few things, but still, so many items, so little time. Um, all right, all right, so let's get this out of the box first. It's got a really cool, interesting backing for it as well, and it is a little buck big pin. Uh, it's got a really nice rubber backing on the back as well. It looks like it's uh, to kind of hold. But yeah, it doesn't have anything else written on it. Uh, it's just a funky little shape, I think, uh, which is really unique, uh, very different from the other ones as well. I like that they put their own hard enamel pins in there. I think pins are always such a great addition to any box because everyone's gonna love them. I feel like as a Potter community, we just really love pins and it's always going to win us over and everyone loves Buckbeak. I love it. I'm so glad that they went back in time to save him. All right. Now here's this print. So this looks like it's a watercolor print. Um, and I just think these kind of touches are so beautiful and it's got all the Dementors around and Sirius Black on the leg uh, and then Harry as well um, but then also Harry casting his own Patronus as well. I love love all of these touches as well and oh I love this as well it's a uh, Monster Book of Monsters um, and it is a exclusive by Twillings and Tattlings, which is Stephanie, who also helps run um, the Alchemy of the Skin, which is really lovely that they've had all of these uh, small businesses work together to create such an amazing box. Anyway, uh, it's got, it's kind of like a sketch of the Monster Book of Monsters, but instead of uh, being just a sketch of it, it's kind of got instructions and how to deal with it and what it's got. So it's got nubbly, funny tentacles, cute but um, may bite. It's got uh, best kept with a buckle to stay where it's not in use. And it's, I think my favorite touch about these is that they're actually in these plastic sleeves so that they don't get ruined until you frame them, which is always such a lovely thing to think about. And it's such clear and lovely that you can just, you can just hold it in there until it's done. And this actually I love as well. Um, it says the artist is Liz. There's a signature down the bottom, um, but it's the Marauders. So you've got prongs, lupin, uh, worm tail, and um, Mooney, which is, uh, I yeah, well, obviously Sirius, which is Padfoot, is the black dog. So I'm assuming that Mooney, which is uh, Remus, is uh, the wolf in the background. Um, I imagine him always to be a bit darker, but I's interpretation, you can't, you can't, you can't stop, you can't take that away from them. Um, and I like that they've made Wormtail look really, really cute, because you know what? Yes, he grows into a horrible person, and he really deserves the end that he gets. But in his youth, he was nothing but a good friend to them. So I think that's something really important. We've almost gotten to the end of the box, and we're just left with this beautiful packaged and stamped item where I don't want to ruin the wax seal. I don't want to ruin it. Oh, how am I gonna get this opened? Uh oh. Oh no. I hope it's wrapping something up and it's not. It does feel like it's wrapping something up. 
<laughs> I just want to use this outpost one later on. Let me reuse things. Winner, it took the entire cardboard with it. <laughs> I really hope that cardboard wasn't part of what was inside. Oh, no, I think it's not. Wow, look. It is a night bus ticket, but it's a bookmark, a wood bookmark. And it's beautiful, if I might add, absolutely beautiful. So it's made by In The Reeds and it's got gold foiling. I, I can definitely see in the reflection just how pretty this is. And I really hope you guys can see this as well. Wow. Wow. Oh, this could end up being my favorite item in this box. But now it's time for the cheat sheet. All right. <clears throat> Personalized Hogsmeade letter. Tick. Hogsmeade map by In The Read, which is an Azkaban exclusive, which I loved that map. I loved it, I loved it, I loved it. Um, and I loved the Butterbeer mug candle from Flitwicks. Um, the Time Turner notepad from Fable in Black. Again, yes, really wanted that as well. Lupin's chocolate tea is an Azkaban blend. Ooh, I'm not sure if that means that it was designed by them or they made it themselves. I think it was designed by them because um, I think I saw a logo of someone else. Aconite potion bottle ingredient bottled by the Azkabox. So that one is made from themselves. Uh, the Marauders Map book sleeve by the Azkabox. They made that one too. The Hippogriff pin, they've obviously designed that themselves. Uh, the bus ticket wooden bookmark by In The Reads, which we just opened and we loved. Uh, the Grim Coffee Mug, which is microwave and dishwasher safe. Perfect. Perfect. I just found myself a mug that I am taking to Japan. Yes. The Monster Book Infograph Print by Twillings and Tattlings, which again is designed for the Azkabox, so it is an exclusive. Uh, the Espresso Patronum Coffee Whip Soap from Alchemy of the Skin. Uh, the Marauders Print by Liz F. Caballero. Uh, the Dreams Quote Pillow Cover. I don't know where it's from. I really don't. Hmm. Yeah. Um, Neville's Lost Password and the Expresso Paternum print by Liz F. Caballero. So we did get two beautiful prints by Liz. I honestly loved her artwork. I think it's really beautiful. And yeah, I think this has been quite the box. Why the box? All right, so let's start with least favorite item. And I've got to go the pillowcase just because purely I couldn't identify the reference, which means that I it just missed, missed it with me. But you know what? It was a quality item anyway. It's just that I, I lacked in my pottery. That's what I did. I lacked in my potterness. But now, here's the hard bit. What are we gonna pick as our favorite item? I loved every single piece in this box. Ooh, ooh. Um, I definitely loved the bookmark. The bookmark has got to be one of my favorites. So I definitely loved the bookmark. The bookmark has got to be one of my favorites. And other than that, oh, I love the, oh, I love them all. Let's just say the bookmark because look at it. Look at it. It's so pretty. Quick heads up. So I buy these boxes with my own money. Uh, I do this because I love buying things and I love sharing them with you because I know that some people don't get the chance to and I'm really lucky that I do get the chance to. So I'm very thankful of this kind of uh, relationship. Uh, I'm really thankful of the fact that I can open them and I can do them. Uh, items that I don't keep, I'm going to try and uh, put towards a uh, 1,000 uh, followers giveaway because we did reach that milestone. It was amazing. I'm so grateful. Uh, <clears throat> and you guys deserve all of the kudos for that. Uh, if there's anything that you guys 
want me to do or want to see any more from me, uh, just let me know down below. I love doing these unboxings. I will be unboxing the rest of the Asuka box as they come out. I'm not sure what's happening past the seventh box, but uh, I know that it's going to be amazing because everything they do is just amazing. And yeah, if there's anything else that you guys want to know, just let me know down below. Uh, have a chat with me. Let me know which one's your favorite items, which one's your favorite, uh, which one's your least favorite. Tell me what that quote is because I don't know. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys all have a fantastic uh, day. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your YouTube. Enjoy whatever you're up to and killing it. And don't let the muggers get you down. Bye, guys.